The Kwara State Governor Abdurrahman Abrazak on Monday met with the President Mohamed Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja. The governor alleged that the immediate past administration in the state sold off 110 properties, including Deputy Governor's house. He also lamented that 75% of the state allocation from the federation account is used for payment of salaries, thereby leaving the administration with some money to attend to other expenditure. Speaking to State House correspondents after the meeting, Abdurrahman said he spoke with the president on some developmental challenges inherited in the north central state and the step he had taken to gradually reposition it. Razak appealed to the president on the condition of federal rules in the state and called for the establishment of federal college of education. Uh, gentlemen, I was came here to see the president, um, wishing good tidings for the new year, and also with a shopping list uh, because our state is in dire straits. Um, when we got in, we were total collapse in the state. It will start from education. Our four colleges of education were on strike for a year when we got in. Um, they were owing, the government was owing teachers about 70, 750 million. Um, thank God we've been able to clear that. Um, UBEC had blacklisted Quagga State since 2013. So it shows you that there's not been any investment in the educational sector. But um, we've been able to clear the liabilities. We paid UBEC 450 million, which was misappropriated by the previous administration, and we're good to go with UBEC. But as at that, um, we need major investment in our educational system. We need federal intervention. We need federal help. In the health sector, uh, NGOs like uh, w UNICEF had left Quara. We were lagging behind in everything. We had to pay close to a billion in counterpart funding, which the previous ad administration had not paid. Funding for iron, polio, uh, rollback malaria, AIDS, the government was not paying counterpart funds for any of the programs, but now we've cleared the backlog and um, we're on course with that. When we got in, there was no running water at all in any city in Quara State, any town. Today, in Lauren, the state capital, within two months, we had water running in the taps um, and some other major towns too. It's an ongoing process, but the basic things like water, it's something that it's very important and dear to our programs and we will make sure we um, deliver water. Our civil service, we've been clearing backlog of debts. Um, in 2013-16, they were paying half salary, 60%. We've been able to clear all that and also should, trying to show the that um, there should be no malice. Government, government, government is a continuity. We have not removed anybody from work. The civil head of service we inherited is still there. The um, palm sect finance there, all there. Even the cooks in the government house are still there. We have not changed any single person I mean, government. Um, on housing, uh, what we met was that they had sold virtually, well, about 110 government properties, including the deputy governor's residence. Our deputy governor is in rented accommodation. They just shared everything. Our liaison office in Lagos, as a skyscraper of the a former governor built on it. So that's what they've done to the state, just basically sold everything. Now, I've explained all this to the, Mr. President, and I've told him that we want to concentrate on agriculture because money coming from Abuja for our local governments goes in paying 100% of salaries. Money coming from Abuja to the state government, 75% of it goes into paying salaries. So therefore, we have to develop alternate means of generating revenue. And that is why we have to be enter going to, we have to be enterprising in the way we do our things. Um, being enterprising, we have to expand the agricultural base, production base, and um, that's where things like National Livestock Transformation Project comes in. We discussed with the president. Um, I saw the project was slowing down a bit, but luckily I also met the Minister for Agriculture um, while he was trying to see the president, and he explained to me that they're on course with it now because um, they were changing some issues with it, but they're fully on course with that program, 
who are fully going to be engaged with that program. And we're going to take advantage of the fact that the federal government has stopped allocation of um, foreign exchange for dairy products. So it's a win-win for us. And we want to also reduce farmer um, headsmen clash by making sure we give them grazing land in Quara, which is productive into ranches and for dairy production. We also launched a social investment program. Throughout the campaign, we saw that um, the federal government social investment program actually made an impact from villages to villages. I went town to town. There were beneficiaries. There's no place I went to that there was not a single beneficiary. And it made huge impact in the life of the people. That's what led us to domesticate the um, social investment program of the federal government and passed a bill in our State House of Assembly. And by the end of this month, our social investment scheme will be up and running. Um, the conditional cash transfer, uh, you'll be surprised that Quara is only one of the two or three states that have not commenced the school feeding program. It's a shame. We need to engage on that because it's really important um, on the issue of um, malnutrition. We have cases of stunted growth, uh, which is partly the case of malnutrition. Um, if you are malnourished, you're not going to learn anything. I visited schools, and when you get to the schools, half of the students are in the farms, either basically helping their parents. But if you start a school feeding programs, and why are they on the farms? They're on the farms because the parents need more hands on the farms to um, plant. But all these are programs we're facing. School feeding programs coming on board soon. Um, money market, trader money will happen in Quara State, and the conditional car transfer to um, elderly people. We also spoke about trying to get a college of education, federal college of education in Kwara State. Um, we don't have one, so we're looking forward to that. 